All right, so today we're gonna be talking about what you need to be doing if you can't find ammo regardless and what kind of ammunition you need to be looking for in that case and if you're on a budget, so stay tuned. Okay, so a lot of people, I would say probably a vast majority of people that watch these kind of videos, look up this kind of stuff, probably are running off of a very strict budget. It's not super easy to go out and spend an extra $1,000 Especially right now on an AR-15 or even like on a on a Glock, six or seven hundred dollars for a Glock, or even any good handgun for that matter. Anything that shoots a nine millimeter, forty-five things that are very expensive to shoot right now. Uh, obviously, we're holding a couple of twenty-two long rifles here. Personally, I would say the best thing to do if you are dead set, terrified for what's going to happen in the future, and you know you're thinking to yourself you don't have a lot of money. Go buy yourself a Ruger 1022. These aren't 1022s. These are just a couple of 22 long rifles. This is a Marlin Model 60, and that is a Western Field 22 from way back when. It's a very old gun. Now my dad, he actually has a Ruger 22. Yeah, it's they, pretty nice. They, they're very nice guns. Um, and majority of the time, they're usually pretty accurate. Oh, they're very accurate. And as far as everything from recoil to noise, man, I mean, you don't have. You don't even really have to wear ear pro with no. with um, a 22. I mean, you could, but mostly it's about as loud as somebody clapping their hands. The 1022s come with a fixed 10 round magazine that you can pop out of the bottom. And if you want to, you can go to the store, buy you a 25 round banana clip or a drum ma uh, drum magazine. This stuff's super cheap right now. Uh, 50 rounds use about four or five bucks, up to eight dollars. Yeah, but that's still pretty cheap. Yep. Um, so just keep an eye out. You can plink with this stuff all day long. This like, is, I think, what's this, 100 rounds? Um, yes. This, I have M22. When it was at Kmart 20 some odd million years ago, it was sold for $10.30. Same with this. Somebody here. sold it at a yard sale for $12, but that doesn't matter. That's yeah, still yeah. 100 rounds Yeah. for 12 bucks. Um, super cheap. You they're get, fun to shoot. Yes, very sure. fun to shoot. They're super fun to plink with. And there's a misconception that 22s are just like they catch so much crap from people. And um, I've seen this in other gun review videos, other gun videos on YouTube. You know, And the true people that really know about firearms, people that have grown up around firearms and respect them, really know a lot about them, will tell you, this round's going to be just as deadly as anything else. I mean, it can really do some damage in it. it will you ain't going to hear it coming, but you're going to feel it. <laughs> well, you want it, depending on where you get shot, you won't feel it. It'll just be lights out. The, these can kill a human being very, very easily. And there's absolutely no reason to think why they can't do that otherwise. So do not ever underestimate the 22. Long Never version. underestimate Never. the 22. Uh, it will wreck you <laughs> very hard. These are designed in sort of a way I guess to enter your body and ricochet, which is what they do. Hit a bone, and it's not like they get in your body and they start bouncing around like you know those yeah. old ping pong balls that fly all over the place and everything. But this is it'll hit a bone and then it might take a ninety degree shoot up, and then it could go into a major organ where it can really cause some damage. So pretty much, it's not really going to exit yeah. your body. No, probably not. And if it doesn't kill you right on, it's going to be causing you some pretty bad pain. You're going to wish you were dead. Because it's going to be hanging around somewhere yes. you don't want to be. And uh, there's been multiple accounts of people that got shot by 22s that survived. But shot placement is everything. Just remember that. Just because you shoot a target doesn't mean you're going to kill it. Uh, you have to really make sure you know what you're aiming for. So, to wrap it up, definitely get yourself if you're on a tight budget and you know you don't have the money to afford an AR-15 or an AK-47 or a 308 or anything like that usually a Ruger 1022 is going to cost about two to three hundred dollars still yeah, a really I haven't good really price. seen them more than 400 yeah still a really good price for a rifle that will shoot long range super quiet and you can get pretty much all the ammo you want for dirt cheap very fun very no fun to too. shoot and very deadly as well. So, with that being said, keep your 22s by your side. Yep, keep them all by your side if you got them. Yes. Join the FPC. Join the GOA. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. They'll come loud and they'll come fast. We shoot first and we can last. 
Keep your rifle.